Good afternoon, Chef Doug here from Chef Doug's Gourmet Foods and today we're going to be making yeast glazed donuts. Now this is not something that I do because I don't consider myself to be a baker, but every time from time to time I usually have um, individuals that will ask me to make some type of confectionery. So today we're going to be making glazed donuts. This is a yeast raised donut uh, uh, batter that we're using. So we've already got this all together. Add some uh, scalded milk, uh, sifted flour, granulated sugar, dash of cinnamon and nutmeg here. And we're going to do some uh, donuts and we're going to do a little bit of uh, the, the, the donut balls. So we've got uh, our deep fryer here. It's set at 375 degrees. We've got all our mise en place uh, here. We've got a, a, a dipper to take them out. We've got a, a whisk. We've got some powdered sugar and milk. We're going to make a glaze out of this. We have some cinnamon sugar and we've got some chocolate syrup that we're going to be using today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to gently, we're going to collect our, our donuts and we're going to get our donuts into the fryer. And you want to do this very carefully. Come on up here so you can see this. And you don't want to drop them, just gently rest them in there so we don't get burned. Now these are going to be really light and fluffy. They cook rather quickly, so we're just going to get them on in there really quickly and they will actually start to grow a little bit. And we probably can get about one more in there. And I'm going to get my timer on here and what we're going to do is we're just going to basically let these cook a little bit. I'm going to just kind of get them around here and we're going to keep going. They're going to get golden brown and we're going to let them cook for a while. And once they start to get, we're, we're, we're going to be doing about three minutes on this. So we're going to maybe let them cook for the first minute, minute and a half. And then we're going to go ahead and flip them. Once we flip them, we'll, we'll use our, our skimmer to get them out so we can drain that excess oil. We'll put them in our pan here. And then we're going to actually start our, our dipping and, and our different um, procedures for where we're going to actually take care of these donuts when we're done. So. Um, as you can tell, they're starting to, to golden up a bit, so we're just going to go ahead and flip them gently. You don't want to splash yourself. Uh, this is a very easy procedure. If this is too big for you, uh, most of you will probably not have a deep fryer at the house, but you can do this in a, in, in a, in a, in a regular skillet or fryer, uh, and you can use a fork just to flip them, turn them over, get them turned, and... Uh, boy, they're looking really, really good here. I've got my mouth watering. So we're going to turn them over here. Just about done with all of them. Turn it over. Uh, uh, can't wait. Ah, can't wait, can't wait. Really good, really good. So we're going to get that here. I'm going to get a couple of plates. So that's our first minute and a half. We're going to get that going again. And I'm going to just go ahead and set that here. So we'll have some place to, to put that. But, uh, these are looking really good. Why don't you come on in here and take a look at this. Um, I have seen so many um, different ways that, that this has been done. Um, this is, I don't do this very often, but like I said again, you know, every now and again you want a good donut. I don't have a Krispy Kreme close by, so, you know, uh, this is what it's going to be. If you want a hot now, you got to make it yourself sometimes. So, we're just about there on the donuts. Uh, these are starting to look really good. Um, now, of course, you, you can always cook these a little bit less if you, you like them um, to be uh, a lighter color, or you can adjust your cooking temperature a little bit for these. But um, these are just about where we need them to be, so we're going to go ahead and get them out of here. Okay? We're going to just get them here so they can uh, drain a little bit. You don't want to have too much uh, fat or grease on there. And we're going to just go ahead and get these up. Now, these are looking really, 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 really good. Now, I would suggest that you wear gloves for, for the next step here because, remember, these are piping hot. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get these, we're going to drop them, we're going to dust them in here. There's my timer. We were right on time with that. Drop them in that cinnamon sugar, and um, again, I've been doing this for a while, so my hands take a lot more heat, but we're going to 
Let's go ahead and get that coated in here. It's good to do it while they're hot because it, the coating sticks on a lot better. Now here we've got um, confectionery sugar, about six tablespoons. This is about two cups of um, powdered sugar to about six tablespoons of uh, milk. And we're just going to mix this together really quick. And what this is going to do is this is going to basically make a glaze. Okay? And um, when you do the glaze, what you're really trying to do with the glaze here is you, once the glaze is made, and that was very quick, you know, almost anybody can do this. So with the glazed donuts now, what we're going to do is we're just going to dump them down, we're going to flip them over, we're going to coat them in there, okay, and then we're going to leave them so that they can dry. Drop them down again, turn them over, give them a couple of coats so they're nice and coated, and we're going to put them right back on that wire rack so that they can, they can glaze, okay? So nothing to it. Very simple, easy. Uh, do a couple more. I like glazed donuts, so we're going to probably do more, a little bit more glazed donuts. Okay. And then what we're going to do with the others is we're going to glaze them, but then we're going to take these another step further. And I'll show you what we're going to do with these others. We've got a couple of requests for, for uh, chocolate coating. And what I like to do with the ones that I'm going to do the, 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 the chocolate coating with, just stay there, I'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to get my um, chocolate syrup here if I can find how to open it. And we're just going to drizzle these with chocolate syrup. Gives it a nice direct decoration, but doesn't that look beautiful? Isn't that awesome? I think I'll do another one. It looks so good. Okay? Isn't that delicious? So, it's all about presentation. So we're going to get our glazed donuts. We're going to get our cinnamon donuts, okay? And you can just, if you don't like this, the glaze, you can just dip these in just the powdered sugar. They'll be awesome that way too. And of course, we'll get our chocolate glazed donuts. Isn't that awesome? This is Chef Doug from Chef Doug's Gourmet Foods, signing out.